Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Brother James Benedict. I greet you all in the most sweet and loving name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Very good morning. In this early morning, shall we look to the word of God from the book of Psalms chapter 1 verse 2. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law that he meditate day and night, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. In other words, Psalm 37:4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Well, word of God is the lifeline of every Christian. It's a compass which guides and directs our lives. Psalm 119 will not fail. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. While the word of God within us can protect and preserve us from all evil and danger. Psalm 119:11 Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. When our the word of God is filled within us even trials and temptations may come but we will be able to overcome them well the word of god cleanses and purifies our lives it makes us holy and accessible to his presence to enjoy his presence and his power and his manifold blessings so the word of god cleanses and purifies our lives psalm 199 how can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to thy word well The word of God also strengthens us. Isaiah 40:31 They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Well, there are thousands and thousands of people, Christians, especially young people who who have neglected the word of God and deeply rooted in worldly things and have taken wrong decisions in life and ruined the divine and beautiful plan the lord god envisaged in their lives and not only that but they brought shame and dishonor to themselves to the families and to the society at large after several years they come to senses and realization but only they can regret as it will be too late well life without the word of god is like facebook without friends YouTube without videos, Google with no results. The tragedy of life is not death, but what we let die inside of us every moment while we live. And cousins, when we walk in line with the word of God, the best is yet to come. We are not products of circumstances, but we are products of our own decisions. Stephen Covey well the decision to eagerly read god's word to retain it in our lives and applying the word of god can prosper us not only spiritually but even in our personal physical and social lives too shall we look to the lord in prayer thank you lord for enlightening us the significance of the word of god in our lives help us oh lord to have the eagerness to love you and thy word so that we are led to greener pastures peace and prosperity in line with your divine plan in Jesus most powerful name we pray amen thank you for listening to today's devotional god bless you have a blessed day and always remember jesus loves you and cares for you